Why was that instant? All right, something's goofy with the full cam one that takes forever to switch over. That one was instant. Hello, everyone. Face of here. Welcome to some more Raccoon. I'm going to continue today. Sorry, I'm not starting full screen because uh, I hadn't eaten yet. Uh, and I forgot until I sat down here. And so I just threw a bunch of handfuls of cheese into my mouth, which I don't recommend. Go take care of yourselves. Go eat your food. But I didn't want to be full screen in case I had a bunch of crap in my teeth. Okay. I don't remember who we're investigating right now, but I remember we're, oh, it's Tony. It's Tony and his family. Okay. Remember, and then we got to find some feathers and all kinds of other stuff. Man, it's cold down here tonight and I don't know why. Green screen looking okay. All right. Kind of was falling over for some reason. Uh, turn on the television. These people have two broken TVs. Cabinet's empty. Is there anything? Nope, nothing there. We got some blocks. Can't interact with them. Oh, can I water that? Hold up. Yes! Yo! Boopa snoots. I'm gonna have to try that in a hot second. Boopa snoots! The heck is with the alerts, bro? Seriously, like... Am I... Do I have to restart my bot every day now? Because that's dumb. I don't like that. Hold on. I shouldn't have to do that. Normally, I can just keep it running and it works fine. Let me get it up and running. Again. Also, what the? What are you capturing, desktop? It's capturing like half of my one monitor and half of another. Uh... Yo, what is... What are you capturing? Yeah, bounce your squid. Can I have a more buoyant calamari? Um... There's definitely something goofy going on. It's not changing the background either. Something is amiss. I even hit... Hit it, and uh... It's just broke. It's cool. But, uh, there goes your sound alert. Um, goofiness is, is abound. I don't know what the heck's going on. It's very strange. Hopefully, all right, looks fine again. That was goof. Look, it's capturing like half of it. What the heck is going on here? What are you doing, game? Or OBS? There, now it's behaving. It like got stuck because the game partly opened. Very strange. Oh, and Calamari! And a powder toast man. What's going on, my friends? Welcome to the stream. Show some cookies. Oh my gosh, all the sound effects. Need them. Thank you. What's up, cereal? I caved and got the full version of my audio software over the next last week. I've spent nearly. Oh, god damn. Will it be a waste? Will it be worth it? Will it lead to a mental breakdown? Probably a mental breakdown instead of a metal one. <laughs> Find out next time on Serial Gamer TV. <laughs> yeah, just those are one of those uh, purchases. Was like, all right, if I'm making that big of a purchase. I have to make myself get some worthwhile use out of it, you know? At least, like, you go hard on it for, like, a couple months at least. And then you can be like, all right, well, if I don't use it again, at least I got some use out of it. How you guys doing? Welcome to the stream. Appreciate you guys all popping in so soon. All right, we're catching up on... The shelves are adorned with antique tea sets and decorative plates. Um, Tony's story, he's a grumpy bear in this world. House plan doesn't do anything. That doesn't do anything. That doesn't do anything. Will this do anything? No. We got a carrot. Cabbages. We can't do anything to their house. Ooh, grocery list. Potatoes, peas, lima beans, milk. Just a dial tone. Okay, so that is significant that... I always got to point the other way. The uh, little beanstalk thing that I just grew. You got a reason to sit down and use it? I hear you, dude. Get that use. Oh. A red children's backpack with detachable straps. Yes, give me. I need those straps. Yes. Sweet. All right. So now we need some feathers and some glue. And there was something else. Ma! Stop the slurping. That looks like an elevator. A record player. 
I want the presents. Hello. Found a feather. And... What's this? Bookshelf filled books from around the world. That's it. What's up, Lonnie? Welcome to the stream. How you doing? Check it out. Oh, as you open the book, you can see that it's been hollowed out and turned into a secret box. I found a dining room cabinet key. I don't remember finding a locked cabinet in the dining room. What is this? Turn the blue power source on. Sure. Don't know what that does for me. Open the hutch. A stack of postcards have been tied together with string. Most are too faded to read. You can, however, make out the one writing in one of them. Read it. It's going to say dad like. Nope. To my family. Just made it to London in record time, and it's a good thing because they tell me that a giant storm is coming in. Be good to your mother and eat your vegetables. I miss you all very much. Love, dad. But how you guys doing? You guys having a good night? I also got a power metal virtual amp. And oh my days, does it make me sound like I'm riding a horse through a Viking battleground? That sounds dope. Are you going to show that off on your stream sometime? Because I would like to hear that. The grandfather clock. Is that a dining room? Or is this the dining room? Was this locked? I don't remember this being locked. It was. What do you want to search? Upper cabinet. Several folders containing travel records and airmen certification and passports. A uh, middle drawer. There's a letter inside addressed to Christina's parents. Oh, this is going to be from the doc or, uh, school again, isn't it? And it's sad to see this decline in Christina's academic performance. She was once one of my most brilliant students. But now she's failing almost every subject. If possible, I'd like to schedule a meeting with you next week so they can further discuss the situation. I found money. Okay. Uh, I'm going to try to go in this door. I should check out the elevator thing, too. Oh, a bunch of switches and chests. It's locked. It's also locked. Buttons. To use the switches in this room, turn in their corresponding power sources. Those power sources are color-coded and located throughout the house. I found the blue one. Different on and off combinations will affect different things around the house. Ah, shit. Books are filled with books from around the world. You're doing well, just chilling before work and getting pissed off by survivors. Are you uh, playing some murder people in DBD? I'm thinking of making a song on Friday stream whilst we play Overwatch, like work on whilst... Dude, heck yeah, dude, that'd be great. I popped in your... Chrissy, I don't want to go. They pick on me. Well, that's sad. I was in your stream earlier today and I popped in like literally your last match at the very end when that, that guy was like, uninstall Zarya. <laughs> And I was like, oof. The switch cannot be used until its power source is on. The switch, yeah, okay. Okay, so I found the blue one. Let's go see if that actually is like an elevator thing. <gasps> or just some sort of funky closet. I, yeah, I, 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 I could tell. I hate when people do that. I was like, man, fuck you. Not my fault. A box wrapped in packaging tape. There's something written on the side. Read it. Delivered at Westminster, Colorado. Yo, I know where that's at. That's not too... Well, it's a couple hour drive for me. A vacuum cleaner. Stack of books. Something is written in pen on the inside of the front cover. Read it. Stop picking on me. Okay, so her friend Benny is getting picked on. That door is stuck. It's fucking cold down here. Why is it so cold? I'm like getting shivers. I'm up. You got another TV? It's probably broke. Yep. There's a letter on the ground. I don't know if you'll even read this, but I think you should look at what your daughter wrote. I know it's not easy. We're all suffering right now, but you need to talk to her before it's too late, Tony. She needs you right now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Box wrapped in packaging tape. There's something written on the side. Delivered at Etiquette, New, New York. I found sticks. Yes! Oh, cool. I need some glue. I'm here now. This light's on. That one's been on. This light's on. This Maybe this got powered on by the blue switch. Bears! Look at Baby Bear! I gotta do the voice changey thing again. Sorry, this is gonna be difficult. 
He's absolutely perfect. I can't believe how much she looks like Christina. You're a big sister now, Christina. How do you feel about that? It makes me really happy. I feel like I've waited forever for a baby brother. Okay, so is Benny her brother? Not friend. I finally have another club to play with. I'll teach him everything I know. I'll teach him the best games, the best hiding spots, the best places to catch fish. I'll be the best big sister ever. I'm sure you will be, Christina. Oh my God, that so hurts my arms. That's a lot of pianos. Oh, we got another switch. Dear Christy, dear Christy, while you were a big at big kid school, I found this room full of baby pianos. Pretty neat, yeah? But here's the bad part. They're all broken. Each piano only has one key that works. Weird. If you want to play a real piano, though, there's one of those downstairs. Love, Benny. Okay. Is that going to teach me the song? Is it going to be? Was I supposed to guess this? Fuck! I did it. Or was I supposed to figure this out somewhere? I'm guessing it's easy enough to figure out. Are those going to close? Yes! All right. Flip this switch. Oh, wow, 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 wow. We did it. I see those bears have been possessed by demons. Bears just have very deep voices. What are you talking about? <laughs> I found a feather. Cool. I need a few more of those. Can I play this? A piece of sheet music with a simple melody sitting on the piano. Play the music. That's... Yeah, I was supposed to figure it out from there. <laughs> it's fine. Look at the chessboard. Finish looking. Is that supposed to be significant? The chessboard? What is this? Okay, well, I, I flipped a switch. That is important. My. Okay, is there going to be another light on? I already checked that one. Okay, so let's go downstairs and flip the switch again. The music is so ominous here. Oh, this is a door. Have I been in here? I'm going to fill the sink with water. Fill the empty bucket. Oh, this is for the plant. We you looking, Jada? Did you give yourself an owie? Where was the other switch at? Was it up here? No. Ah, shit. It's the only way I can go. Okay, so I have to go flip the red switch. It's probably going to unlock another door. I don't remember where the switches were. Was it here? No. It looks like a weird bong. Where was that other switch? You guys remember? Maybe he's just upstairs in one of those other rooms that I just spaced out at. What's this? Knock, knock. It's locked. Oh, who's this thing, right? There we go. Red. Give me the red present. Oh! It's showing me which one gets unlocked. The box is locked. False. Okay. I'm learning things. I'm a good learninator.
Also, I start I started late today because I was getting all wrapped up in D and D stuff, and I was getting the itch again. Okay, Benny. Today I'm gonna teach you how to be a detective. Hey, I wanna learn. First things first, we bears have a really good sense of smell. It's our most important too. More important than magnifying glasses? Yes, even more important than that. See, watch. I'm gonna close my eyes and using only my nose, I'm gonna find us some mushrooms. Oh, look at her eyes being closed is adorable as heck. See what I mean? The next thing you need to know is when you're looking for a bad guy. It's how to track their footprints. Bad guys always leave footprints. It's true. Bad guys always leave footprints. See these footprints? A bad guy made those? You're totally right, Benny. But that's not all. Check this out. Eating rocks. Oh, we got some honey. There's honey in here. Who we'll put that there? Oh shit. Oh, he's playing. Ah, oh, you caught me. That guy is dead. Run! Ah, oh, your detective skills are too good for me. Oh my god, they're. Precious as hell. I love you. Squash him, squash him, squash him, squash him, squash him, squash him. Oh, big chessboard. Maybe I should have paid attention earlier. Shit. There is a letter on the ground. Read it. Dear Christy, when you are when are you coming back from school? I have so much to tell you. I found another secret passageway, but this time it was in the closet downstairs. Okay. You know the closet downstairs where mom keeps the vacuum cleaner? It leads all over the house. Oh, that thing that looks like a bong? That's a vacuum cleaner. There's a locked door up there, too. But people were coming, so I had to run before I could try opening it. I think I found the key that opens the door. Let's try it later when everyone's asleep. Love, Benny. I got a secret passage key. Hell yeah. More chess rules. Continued. Queening. When your pawn reaches the other side of the board, you can replace it with a rook, knight, bishop, or queen. This is called promotion. Most of the time, players choose to replace their pawn with a queen, and it's the most powerful piece. This is commonly referred to as queening. Okay. Can I just push it? Did I break it? This doesn't work, right? This is not how it works. Shit. Did I fuck it up? Uh, I'm gonna come right back in here. Oh, it's because that wasn't a pawn. I'm an idiot. Did it. Now what?
I haven't found any other chest rules though. It says chest rules continued. Maybe I don't solve this yet. Let's go to that um the hidden closet that they were talking about. I feel off to anyone else. I, I queened my part. But it didn't do anything for me. Okay. Aha! Oh, numbers. What you got there? Numbers? That looks creepy. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, sick. Well, it just lets me back in. Okay. I found two sticks. There's a letter on the ground addressed to Christina's parents. Christina did not attend school today. Her classmates said that they saw her sitting at the park during the, their walk to class. Given her failing grades, her inability to concentrate in class, and her social isolation, I'm recommending that she visual a specialist. Please contact me so that we can set up a meeting. This is for the best. Dude, why are the parents ignoring these letters? That's a bit fucked. Where was that room with the... the chessboard? Maybe I need to look at that and memorize it. Because this ain't working. That's fucking not what I want. Okay, I'm guessing I do have to go pay attention to wherever that other chess board was. I don't remember where it was. Which is annoying because I was literally just there. Was it the one? Is it this stupid door that just got locked? Because that would suck. Let's try. Oh, that's the pianos. Hmm. Mama! Hey! Mama! Stop slurping. Doesn't help. Uh... This thing. Mm. Was it up here? No, oh, this is just the exit. Oh, wait, no, I've been here. Hmm. So on one scale to how deep have the feels been? Um, probably like a three right now. Nothing too crazy has happened. Like, I, I, you feel bad for some people, but I think it's just building, building the intenseness. You know what I mean? Okay, so that's the thing I need for all of them. This I'm lost on because I don't remember where that door was. That had the, the chessboard. That's her room. Where's the stinking chessboard? Was it up that little hallway there? Nothing bad has happened yet. Yeah, right. I'm 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 almost certain that 
something's gonna destroy me at some point because it's just a bunch of kids in a hospital and that has a real soft spot for my heart dude where's the fucking chessboard I do not remember where this chessboard is. Fuck. Was it this? No. All right, this is where she didn't go to school. God damn it, dude. 12, 10, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Guys, I don't remember where the fucking book is. Or the, um, the chest thing. It's driving me nuts. I've gone to every door, I swear. Nothing in here. We've gone up the bead stock. Right? Yeah, because that just takes you to the upper room. That also takes you to the upper room. This is nothing. This is the switch flipper. That door doesn't do me anything. Because we already tried this. Unless this takes me to somewhere else. This takes me to somewhere else. Fuck. Look at the chessboard. It's the same fucking chessboard. Oh my god, I just wasted so much time doing nothing. All right. Let's go flip that switch. Uh, I am... I'm obviously missing something. I don't know what the solution to this puzzle is. It tells you to queen your pawn, which I did. But it doesn't do anything. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. I gotta do this now. Is there four pieces? Then I just didn't pay attention. Son of a bitch. All right. Cookie time. Let me go check again. Cookie time. Double cookie time. The queen is a different spot on the chessboard. Was it? Yeah. Fuck. Say, take us some mud for the cookies. You got two. You got two. You got one from birch and one from cereal. You get two. Here you go. Yum. You got another one. Really? You gotta eat the- you gotta eat the one first? You stink turd. I already forgot how to get there. <gasps> Another one! <gasps> From Lonnie said thank you so much for the cookies. Take off. Um, need him, get him. Guys, I'm an idiot. I already forgot how to do it. Where was it? Fuck! Ah! Uh. Oh, I forgot how to get to the other chessboard area again. Piano room? Where's the piano room? Oh, it's the first door, huh? Son of a fucking... Fine. Turn it off. Give me the piano room back. My brain is obviously not working very well today. Down. Okay. Where is it? Where's the queen? 
Oh, the queen goes back to where the pawn was. Okay, so I don't have to memorize anything else. Okay. I should probably have taken a screenshot of that. <laughs> Considering my dumb brain is not working today. Oh my god, I've been stuck on this puzzle for way longer than I should have been. Alright, let's get you... Up here. And get queened. Oh, thank God. Turn the yellow power source on. We're done. Let's get the hell out of here. Okay. Fault. My fault. Uh-oh. Don't like that. Is it going to say my dad's fault? Okay, they all turned off. Okay, so what if I turn... I don't know if I've gotten that light yet. Let's give it a shot. I have not. Cutscene. Is a Benny. I hate. I hate moving. I see we're all at the time, and I'm always in the new kid. I hate. Uh, I'm gonna try that again. I hate moving, Christy. We move all the time, and I'm always the new kid. They pick, they pick on me. It makes me never want to leave the cave. I know, Benny. I feel the same way. I forgot to change your voice. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make a whole separate source just for the stupid stinking bears. Hold on. There we go. I'm taking you to the place that will make you feel much better. Also, there shouldn't be an echo, so fix that. Really? Pissy, you're the best. I love... I promise, Benny, you're gonna love this place. This is so neat. How did you find it? It's like a secret hideout. It is a secret hideout. Our secret hideout. We can make it our first official secret detective clubhouse. Clubhouse? Hot. Huh? This is the greatest. Doesn't somebody already live here? Nope. Are you sure? What about the lanterns? In the garden? Party spirits put the lanterns there. And the garden just left over from the previous owner. Trust me, I've been checking on my walk back from school every day. This place is abandoned. You're right, Christy. I do love this place. And this, and check this out. There's even a little cave that leads back to the main pass. So if any bad guys try to catch us while we're doing our detective work, we can sneak out through here. We finally have our own place where no one can find us. Thank you, Christy. You're the best big sister ever. Come on, Benny. Want to see what the cave looks like? Yeah! Is there going to be a cave-in? Oh my god, my arm hurts. Uh, why didn't I hear that? I'm kind of glad I didn't. Um, but it looks like... Nope, it's connected. OBS, why are you having issues, bruh? That's annoying. Cause I didn't hear that at all. 
Oh, you got some gimmick or emotes from gimmick. She's a she's a cute bean. I definitely recommend her. Go check her out her channel. What the fuck, dude? OBS is just having all sorts of problems tonight. I don't know why. It's connected. Um. Yep, there's no sound. That's cool. Is it because it got disconnected? Oh, God. That's the only problem with the extensions and stuff on Twitch is, like, they constantly disconnect themselves. It's like, I don't want to have to redo all this over and over and over again. Hold on. Because they were working yesterday. All right. Extensions. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? My extensions. All right, hold on. Blurp. Blurp. Yep, it got disconnected. Dumb. Music is great. Or Blurp looks like it might be down because it's not loading. Mm. Alright, sound alerts. Okay, so sound alerts are working, but Blurp is having a, uh, a problem. Okay, let's see. Okay, so that worked. Do it again! Yeah, Blurp is broke. Because I just played the scary ghost girl one and it didn't work. And the fact that it says their sound bites is undefined. We can do Papa Butt Pats, though. On Butt Pat time? It's Butt Pat time! I tell you. That's a completely separate uh, sound file. <laughs> that goes directly to my OBS. <laughs> but the uh, the blurp alerts are definitely having issue. It looks like when you try to go to their website, weird stuff is happening. They might be doing maintenance or something. Which is uh, a bit annoying. Oh, stinking, stinking. Oh. This game rearranging everything. Okay. We look like we're good again. We found some trains. I can't touch them. Do I gotta memorize these trains? Got a teddy bear. A teddy bear with a note attached. Benny, my boy, your mother tells me that... Fuck. Your mother tells me that bears are your favorite, so I got you this for your birthday. What will you name him? Love Dad. An alarm clock. I found a feather. Painting of a sailboat. Top right drawer. Pile of white socks. Middle drawer. Found money. Bottom drawer. 
neatly folded school clothes, Ooh, coloring books, yeah. and a family photo in a frame. Hello, friend. I heard a cookie time. It's a gups. Thank you so much for the treaty. Yum, 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 yum. You guys are getting spoiled. Postcard has been tucked in between a pair of white socks. Benny, my boy, I just landed in Texas and found this postcard in the gift shop. It's hot here. Take care of your mother. Be nice to your sister. If you're good, I'll bring you back a present for my trip. Love, Dad. Okay. It's a children's comic book. There is a folded piece of paper between two of the pages. Today, Christy and I found something really neat inside this a secret passageway in the closet. There's another secret door in the wall. It leads to a small room at the end. It's so streaky that you can't see the door at all. You have to walk exactly 13 steps into the passageway from the closet, then you can find it. We're gonna turn in to our clubhouse and use it for all our detective work. All right, it's a secret within a secret. All right, you can't do that. 13 steps into the secret. Did I read that right? I believe I read that right. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, that's nice. That the numbers are telling you what step number you're on. Awesome. I'm the worst sister. Oh no, what happened? Did Benny get killed? That's a lot of bears. Half assembled model airplane. Got bo bottles of marbles in general. Full of children's candy. What do you mean children's candy? Glue! Children's candy. Candy's for everyone. Model airplane. There's a letter on the ground. Read it. Dear Benny, I think we're the only ones in the whole world that know about this place. Isn't it neat? I brought some candy for us for when we get hungry. For when we eat hungry. And glue from school so we can build the model planes Dad got us. I'll meet you here after school. Love, Christy. Benny. Several toy bears neatly arranged in a pile. The name Benny has been embroidered onto all of them. Official Secret Detective Diary by Christy and Benny. Invisible Ink! Chapter 1, Invisible Ink. Did you ever need to write a message that only could be read and not... Could, that only you could read and not the bad guys? Mix lemon juice and water to mix the ink. When you want to read it, hold it up to a warm light bulb. This is how detectives do it. Dusting for fingerprints. Chapter 2, Dusting for Fingerprints. After a crime happens, detectives dust for fingerprints. You can do this using baby powder and mom's makeup brush. Uh-oh. List of bad guys. Johnny, Dr. Killer, Mr. Evil, Roger, Alex, the dentist. God, they're fucking precious kids. I, oh, I got glue. Okay. Okay, so now we'll do... That one's flipped. Now let's do red and yellow together. Jada, you're gonna get an owie. That didn't do anything. Okay, so all those are flipped. Where was that button panel? For all of them. There we go. Cool. That's a lot of airplanes. Model airplane. Model airplane. Can't go that way. Model airplane. I don't like that it's quiet. Model airplane. Model airplane. Model airplane. Catch the firefly. Mmm! It looks like a dead end. You know, if we finish building those wings, I'm sure we could use them to fly across the divide. Oh yeah! Good idea, Mom. Let's continue searching the house for all the materials listed in Christie's instructions for making wings. We can come back here once we have everything. Fuck! I haven't got them all. 
you look at the Christie scheme mechanic, all right, six feathers, eight sticks, six feathers and eight sticks. I need one feather and two sticks. Fuck. Have I not found everything? One feather and two sticks. Yeah, we read that one before. Is this going to magically open up? How do I get this door unstuck? A pot of coffee. Hmm. guessing I need something to get that unstuck and that's going to be what I need or that's going to give me what I need or at least give me a feather or something because I don't know what to do from here Okay, I can't turn it off from here. Or maybe stuff doesn't actually do anything when it's stuck. Yeah, we read that. Is there another secret wall? No. Something needs to get unstuck. That doesn't help. Oh, let's go get um those two chests in that room. Those might have what I need. Right? Fuck. Fuck. If I yes, there we go. Aha. I got exactly what I needed. We good. Let's go build us some stuff. Oh, just right into a cutscene. I can't wait to eat. Nothing wake works up an appetite like hiking all afternoon. But hey, kids, dig it in. I'm gonna say okay, but whatever. I'm not hungry. I'm not hungry. How is this possible? I had a big breakfast. He was snacking. Christy! Sorry, I mean, we were both kind of snacking. Uh, it's okay. We're on vacation. You two can go play. Yay! If you're lucky, your mother and I will save you some food. <laughs> anyway! Christy! Yeah, yeah. Be a good girl and watch over your brother, okay? I will. That's my girl. Is he gonna drown? Yeah, dude, the the dad looks just like Brother Bear. I said that yesterday. 
I'm a bear. I'm a bear. Oh god, is he gonna fall in the water? Fuck, I hate this. Oh, I hate this. Oh, I'm so cold. I hate this. What are you doing? Come back over here before you get hurt. It's okay, Christy. See, look. It's really strong. Come on, Benny, stop joking around. I'm supposed to be watching over you, and, and I don't want you to get hurt. It's fine, Chrissy. You won't. You worry too much. Benny, please. Okay, okay, sorry. I'll get off now. Thank you. Oh, I hated that. No! I hate it again. Fuck. Uh oh. Uh oh. Chrissy, help! Uh, I hate my life! Yeah, the blurb things are broken right now, Lonnie. I can't even play them. I hate this. Benny! Oh, I hate this. I'm sorry, Dad. Ah! He blames her. I hate this so much. Dad. Dad, it's time for dinner. Dad. It's okay, Christy. Your father is just very tired today from work. Why don't you come over, come on back and finish your dinner? Okay, Mom. I hate every second of this. There you are, Dad. He's gonna yell at her or hurt her, huh? I've been looking all over for you. Dad? I think she should go home, Christina. What? I came to help you catch fish for dinner. Like we used to. It's just... You always said... Okay. I'll go home. I... Hate it! Mom. Yes, dear. Does Dad hate me? Oh, sweetheart. No, of course not. Your father just doesn't show a lot of emotion. There's a lot going on underneath. Lots of complex feelings and thoughts. But there's also a lot of love for you. It doesn't feel like it. He used to be different. I know, dear. But you must believe me when I say that he loves you very much. I'll try. Good night, Christine. Good night, Mom. Oh, God. Get out of there. I hate it. Well, it looks like we have everything we need to make these wings. Let's get to work. Han, can you hold this feather in place while I glue it down? Like this? Yeah, that's perfect. We're almost done. I can't wait to fly. Yes, the secret to learning how to fly was behind a children's drawing.
I'm on my way. That, that's my favorite song. Tell everybody I'm on my way. New friends and new faces to see. And to sleep under the stars. Yes, I'm on my way. I love that. That song, or that whole movie is awesome. Also, the soundtrack slaps. Wow, these are great. Do you think they'll work? They look pretty strong to me. I think it'll be fine. With eight feathers, yes. Well then, are you ready to go? Let's go! We made two pairs! How? Tony? Hey kid, how'd you find me? Tony, are you okay? No. Nothing is right. Go ahead, dear. Give him the letter. Don't be afraid. Tony, we found this letter. It's for you. It's from Christy. Dear Dad, it's been so long since you last spoke with me. I miss you when you used to take me up in your airplane. I miss how you would teach me stuff. Most of all, I just miss you. I know you go on more business trips to get away from me. I know you hate me because I couldn't protect Benny. Fuck! But I will always love you. I'm sorry that I couldn't be the daughter you wanted. Love, Crispy. Fuck! This is gonna make me cry! Oh, Christy, no. No, I don't hate you. I love you so much with all my heart. You don't understand. What happened to Benny was my fault, not yours. I leave each day of my life with so much guilt looking at you. You look so much like him. I didn't leave because I wanted to get away from you. I left because I didn't know how to deal with what had happened. I know that's selfish and I'm sorry. But knowing you feel this way, I can't bear it, Christy. I love you so much and I've only ever wanted the best for you. You'll always be my little girl. And fucking go tell her that, bro. <coughs> oh, I found her journal key now. Great. Now I gotta go read something more heart-wrenching. Yeah, Phil Collins. Uh, also like the... Uh, Tarzan soundtrack. That one also slaps. You know, Phil Collins didn't have to go that hard for us, but he did. He did it for us. Why is that light off now? Oh, wait, it's this one. Excuse me. I'm not ready to read this. There is a folded note inside labeled to Christy from Dad. Oh, I'm sorry that I have to leave again, Christy, but to help you understand just how much I love you, I want you to have this. When your mother tucks you in tonight, promise me that you'll listen to this. Oh, God, it's a music box. <laughs> and then you'll think of the song I always sing to you at bedtime. Even though I go far away for work, you should always know that no matter how tall you grow, you'll always be my little girl. Love, Dad. It's going to be the music box song. I can't sleep. It's already an hour past your bedtime, Christy. How can you not be sleepy? Did your mother let you have extra honey again? <clears throat> well, I guess I'm just gonna have to sing you a song. Your songs are the silliest. La 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 la, me 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 me, so 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 so. What are you doing? Warming up my, warming up my voice, of course. No warm up would be complete without. Uh, Kitty! Welcome to the stream, my friend. Thank you so much for the raid. I appreciate you. Let me get them doggy some treaties. Hey, thank you so much for the raid. Sorry you popped right in when I'm doing voices for uh, our characters here. Were you playing some more Final Fantasy VII? How'd your, or how'd your stream go? Also, if you guys don't know me, I'm Vasive from Variety Gamer here on Twitch. This 
His black and white house illustrated the brown land manatee there. His mama's there's the real stars of the show. We're playing a, a field strip game, so prepare yourself. Uh, we just went through a very sad part of this, and I don't think it's over yet, so I hope you're prepared. Anyways, back to the game. Uh, buttons. There we go. Ah, Daddy, you are the funniest. Okay, he's singing. He played some Overwatch tonight. Volteus came by with lots of friends and they gave me my very first hype train. Heck yeah, dude! Congratulations! If you brush your teeth and you get good grades, I will be so proud. This is adorable. Maybe I'll even shout out loud or do a funny dance. Ha ha ha. Even though I go far away for work, you should always know that no matter how tall you grow, you'll always be my little girl. Oh, it's so heckin' precious. Have a good night, Giddy. Thank you so much for the raid. Sleep well, my friend. It's a good idea. Good night, Christy. I got Mori no Kokoro part two. I got. Ooh, we got another song. Sick. Huh? Where'd all the bears go? Hmm, I'm not sure. But now that we know Tony's song, we can finally have the backsmith Jackie fix that music box. It better run there! Why is that? So that we don't accidentally forget the song before we get there! Good point. Hi! Right. You're right, let's go. Let's go! We're gonna fix this music box! That's awful, Lonnie! Uh, I don't remember the thing for these guys. Welcome back, guys. What can I do for you? We know the song. Jackie, we know the music box is song now. You? Well, that's fantastic news. I'll get right to work. We'll have this bad boy up and running in no time. So he knows how to write music, too, based on my horrible interpretation of trying to remember the song. He nailed it, dude. My music box! This is a in my heart! Don't worry, he won't hurt you. Little Lebel, did you fix my music box? This music box belongs to Tony? Yeah, I'm sorry we didn't tell you. It's just, he really looked like he needed help, but didn't know how to ask. So the little evil did fix it. If I say yes, will you not eat me? I can't believe this. You don't even know what this means to me. I can't thank you enough. I'm so sorry for destroying your gardens. You are much nicer creatures than I give you credit for. I guess I've just been a big jerk. Well, from here on out, not only do I promise not to harm your village, I also promise to protect it. I owe you so much, the least I can do is show you my gratitude. Uh, uh, well, thank you, to Tony Bear. And, and thank you, all my new little friends. Yay, we did it. Mom, look. It's another door. Should we see where it leads? Tony's room. Who's there? I thought I told you stupid nerds to leave me alone. Uh, is it Christy? Christy? Oh, goodness. Hi, Dad. I'm glad you're here. Me too, Dad.
See, this is why I think I'm in a coma or something, because every time I help someone, I wake back up in bed. And then we meet Yami. But she's not here this time. Ah! Fuck that! Why is that so loud every time? Um. Also, my name is Boy. I don't have a name. Okay, Yami does show up every time. Still sleeping? Yami, it's you! You should really be used to this by now. <laughs> so I hear you're, be you're becoming a regular hero around here, huh? Helping out your neighbors, saving little pink cat creatures from angry bears. Wait, you know about the labels? Of course I do. You think you're so special, the only kid who's been to the forest? Oh, no, no, I didn't mean that at all. It's just, before when we didn't... When you didn't understand why the book was so important to me, I thought... I thought that you meant you hadn't read the story before. I'm sorry, Yami. I just... Hey, I was just kidding. It's all good. You don't have to explain. <laughs> Wait. So that means... You know about Morizora? Of course I do. That's great, Yami. Why didn't you tell me? Oh, I couldn't even believe it the first time I saw it. Everything is so wonderful there. The creatures are real and they want to talk to me and help me. And I want to help them too. Yeah, everyone loves when you... Loves you when they want something from you. Man, this guy's fucking... Debbie Downer. Wait, what? I'm just saying. It's human nature, you know? Shouldn't feel bad about it. It's just the way it is. Are you gonna wish for anything? From Mor or from Morizora? Yeah. I don't know. Last I saw, he was sleeping, and even if he did did wake up, I doubt he'd grant me a wish. Why do you think that? Wishes are for good kids. Kids that help help people. Kids that are strong. I'm too weak and too sick. How could I ever help anyone with anything? Oh, yummy. Oh man, I'm gonna get busted if the nurse catches me again. I'd better go. Yami? I'm pretty sure he's like the dark thoughts in my brain. What? You've helped me. Huh? Why? Because I break into your room every night and you mistake me for your mom? Ah, <laughs> no! Well, maybe. What are you on about? You keep me company. And you understand. Nights are the loneliest, you know. But when you're here, it's not so bad. Well, thanks for saying that. I mean it. It's so loud. Hi, Mom. Hi, sweetie. Did you sleep okay? I did! I feel refreshed. That's what I like to hear. So, it looks like we're all set. I'll get these tests to the lab and... Who's that guy? Doctor. John G, I'm terribly sorry to interrupt, but... We're having a bit of a... Problem. No wonders. No worries. Er, no worries. Wait, who is it? Is that her talking now? No worries, Kenji's. What do you need? Well, I hate to tell you about this, but... Kizabro got out again. What? He broke the new boards we put up and got into the space behind his room. And I'm pretty sure he got outside, too, because there's more boxes and more mud. Ugh. Why? What? Why? Why? I just don't have time for this now. I'm thinking we might have to reevaluate Kisaburo's medication. Or maybe transfer a fucking room. Unfortunately, I think you're prob- Unfortunately, I think you're probably right. Sorry guys, but I gotta run. You're free to walk around today if you'd like. Yay! Thank you, Doctor. I hope everything is okay. Oh, I'm sure it'll be fine. You know how it is. Just another day at the hospital. Okay, Kenji, I'll meet you at Hitsuburo's room. Got it! 
Ugh. What do you think? Should we see what's going on with Kisaburo? Yeah, let's go, Mom. Did I find anything that I could put in the house for you? I was in Tony's room earlier, and he seemed different. I might even say he was happy. Hooray! You guys got anything else for sale? You bought everything, thanks. To put it on in the patient lounge, you gotta use it from your inventory. I bought everything because I'm so good. Can I buy anything from here? Coffee, choo choos, never mind. Alright, we're good. You're Kisa Burrow's wife, right? Oh, he doesn't remember her. That's sad. He doesn't remember me. That's very sad. Oh, hello, dear. How are you feeling today? Our anniversary is coming up, so I thought I'd bring Kisa Burrow something nice to cheer him up. But I figure it's best to wait until the right time. I'm sure he's exhausted from all the tests, so I'll just give him some time. It's fucking sad as hell, dude. I think a higher dosage will help with these recent hallucinations. You can get more rest and feel better overall. I'm not hallucinating. I don't remember his voice. He's a girl, you can't keep going outside. Why not? I'm a grown man. If I want to leave, I can leave at any time. It's not safe out there, and you're destroying hospital property. I have to fix the train! It's my job! You can't keep taking my tools away from me. I'm running out of time. I have to tell her something. I have to tell her! Dr. Kenji is going to be observing you for a while. Please know we're doing all we can to help you right now. Oh, hey, kid. Seems you're the only one who listens to me these days. Everyone thinks I've completely lost it. Why did you go outside? The doctors think it's too dangerous to be outside, but I have to be. I'm running out of time. I have to find it. I have to finish it. I have to send a message. Okay. I'm visiting him in Morizora's forest. Oh. Wants me to go to Morizor's forest. Okay, he's on um, the far left side, if I remember right. Oh, just bring me right to it. That's fine. Hello. And he was the creepy fish person, which I can't do anything about those yet. Yeah, okay. What was I doing with you? Can we help you? I hate asking for help, but seeing as Morizor has commanded me to stay here. Didn't I give him like a <laughs> voice? I guess I have no other choice. My wife, Kazuko, and I run a little tea shop to the west of here. Ever since I got sick, he's had, she's had to run to the shop all by herself, which is no small task. Perhaps if Kazuko had a couple extra helping hands, it might ease the burden a bit. You think we could visit her at our tea shop west of here and see if she needs help with anything? Yeah, totally. Of course. We'll help you however we can. Thank you so much. It really means a lot to both of us. Alright. Uh, not them. Hello? Oh, yeah, mermaid person. Oh, hello. Welcome to the Midnight Tea Shop. How can I help you? Can we help out? You want to help? You mean, like, you're looking for a job? Oh, not exactly. Your husband, Kisaburo, asked us to see if you need anything. He actually said that to you? Well, well, I guess I could use some help with a couple of things. Business has been slower these days. I guess I'd feel a lot safer if I could get just one more big tea contract. I do have a customer in mind. His name is Monsieur Bud, and he holds regular tea events that require lots of tea. I'm sure if I can bring him a sample, he'd be our customer in no time. Unfortunately, I'm the only employee, so I can't really leave the store right now. That's the dude upstairs in the clouds, right? 
If I could leave, I'd also visit our neighbor to pick up some dragon ash for his flower. I'm growing here. Hikaribana! Wow, good eye. It is indeed a Hikaribana. She's grown quite a bit, however, I don't think she'll bloom without that dragon ash. Anyway, so you'd really like to help? Okay then, would it be too much to ask for you to go in my place? Bring Monsoor Bud a sample of our tea and to pick up some dragon ash from our neighbor. We'd love to help. Oh, thank you so much. You'll find Monsoor Bud in the Skylands. A beanstalk west of the label village should take you there. You can give him a sample of tea from this gourd. Our, our neighbor lives in the cave right outside of our shop. Occasionally the entrance to our cave gets blocked by fallen rocks. You might need to find a pickaxe to clear them. If you ask nicely, I'm sure she'll give you some dragon ash. Her name is Stormy, and she's a great water dragon. Try not to be intimidated. Good luck, and thanks again. Okay, so I need to go get a pickaxe. I'm gonna go do that after I go do the, uh, the sky bit. Ah! Two piece. Can I not? Do I have to go all the way back? Right? She's like a mermaid fish lady. Voltios! How's it going, friend? Welcome to the stream. How was the rest of your gims? Did you finally break your losing streak? I don't think I want to go this way. Although there is a cave here. Did I go in this cave? I did not go into this. I'm gonna get this. Dump some money. Are they gonna hide? Yep. Okay. What about this cave? There's a note attached to the rocks. Hanging out at Lebel Village, Christina. They weren't too bad? You kept masters? Nice, dude! That's what we like to hear. How was, uh, hanging out with your mom last night? And her birthday. Okay, I... Uh, do I have to go back to the hospital? I think I have to go back to the hospital, that's a bummer. Ooh, my stomach just growled. It was really fun. Did you guys play some Animal Crossing? Is your mom still going hard on Animal Crossing? I'm sure there's a more efficient way to do this, but I don't remember what it is. We didn't get to it, but yeah, she is. She's obsessed. I love that. Uh, oh, right. I'm going to go up in the clouds again. Hopefully. Hey! They're all here. So I'm... Am I fixing everything in this reality? This, seriously, I'm certain this one's gonna break me because Sue is always here, but I haven't got to do anything with her story. And that's not gonna be good. Sheeps! All right, Monsoor. Oh, you're not blocking your house anymore. Oh no, those are guys playing D&D. Let me... There you go. Those sheep look like a Pokemon. Whoa. How did I not... How did I miss this area last time? What the? That sand right here doesn't it kind of look like I have a tree growing out of my head? 
Nothing is growing out of flowers. My oh my, the tables have turned. All right, there's more eggs. Taking this. And this. Talking to you. Have you heard there's a legal artisan who has created a remarkable tea set modeled after skyboards? It's gorgeous. Yeah, I have it. I believe he's on one of the other floating islands. You should check it out if you get the chance. Yeah, I already did that. I already got it. Uh, I'll come back to that. Oh, a chest. Mine. I'm so heckin' rich. Glow rock. Thank you. What are you guys doing lift ups? I hear monster onto a bird is serving some kind of special cake at today's tea. I can't wait to eat and I'm still kind of full from last event. What do these things eat? I had five scones the other day at Monster Bud's afternoon tea. I gotta work it off somehow. Reach for the sky! Work up those calories! Can you walk through these? You can. Can't walk around that though. They're little dances, right? <laughs> Berry tree, logs, and a cave with a present. <gasps> yes, we got a marble for Sue. That's all I care about. Can I talk to you? Yes. Hello, Mr. Castle in the Sky. Hello. Are you looking for Monster Bugs afternoon tea? Uh. Yes. Er, yes. Push up these stairs and enjoy yourselves. Can I have some of this? Nope. Can I have some of this? Nope. Can I play the harp? Nope. Cello? Nope. Piano? Nope. Look at him! Dude, this, t this is a jam! I didn't get you the job so that you could get just goof off our day. First the stink bomb, and now these preposterous drawings. Maxwell Howell the second, you stop this behavior at once. Lil Bud's not Maxwell. That's hilarious. I mean, it's Lil Bud's. Lil Bud's. What? Why in there? You're acting like a hooligan. Dad, you gotta chill. You're gonna be chilling in your bedroom for the next two weeks if you don't clean up your act. But Dad... I'm serious. If you mess up one more time, you are grounded. That's funny, because they're plants. Now, come with me and behave yourself. You have a job to do. Yes, Dad. That looks like Nyan Cat. That picture? Wow, Mom, this place is really fancy, isn't it? You're right, dear. This must be where Monsieur Bud lives. Named Sugar Baby? Um... They're named Sugar Baby in a rich man's house. I have questions to which I do not want the answer. Wow, I've never seen you guys before. Why 
you come from? Are you going to stay for the Mars Force afternoon tea? Oh, God. Sugar, baby. His name's Rupert. Oh, my God. Yes, Rupert? More food from the kitchen has gone missing. Oh, no. What did they take this time? Only the monster's absolute favorite dish. He can pull apart syllabary crumble. Not the crumble! Yes, sugar baby, they took the crumble. We must be on high alert until we figure out who and where this food thief is. Who are these outsiders? Oh, these folks? They're, uh, they're from, uh... They're my cousins. Cousins? <laughs> yeah, I love that face. <laughs> Your cousins? Oh yeah, my cousins. They're totally cool. I've known them my whole life. Hmm. Well, I guess if they're your cousins, it should probably be okay. But you'd better keep an eye on them. I don't want anything else to get stolen today. Yes, of course, Rupert. How does this wig fit through that door? Oh, that was close. My name's Sugar Baby. Well, my real name's actually Ethan. But everyone calls me Sugar Baby because it's my job to bring people sugar cubes for their tea. You guys aren't from around here, are you? I've never met creatures from across the great sea before. Wow! You both look so cool! I mean, look at these arms! Arms have five little arms growing out of the ends of each of the arms. <laughs> and have brown grass growing out of the top of your head. Brown grass. So cool. So what bring you guys to Montier Butts? We were hoping we might have some, have him try some of our special tea. It's the best tea in all the forest. Oh. The monster loves new keys. I'll take you to see him right now. Oh, wait. Mm -hmm. Monkeys. Are you okay? Normally this would be easy, but there's a slight problem. As you can probably tell from what just happened, someone has been stealing food from the kitchen. The kill forgot food that he says, Rupert, he's my boss. It's not going to let anyone near the monster. Sorry, guys. Unless... Maybe you guys can help us find the thief. We're short staff today, so I bet I can get you guys a job here. You mean we get we get to work here? In this big mansion? Yeah, it's pretty easy. People ask for tea and you deliver it. Plus, you get to eat a ton of free food. Strawberry cake, sandwiches, celebrate jam, you name it. That sounds great. Actually, you... you... Stole me with free food, dude. I can do that. I bet since you're new, the buds would love to gossip with you. Just do a good job and they'll talk with you and tell you stuff. I bet you can get all sorts of information that way. If you can help us find the thief, I'm sure the monster will drink your tea. What do you say? Will you help us find the thief? I can get you that job, no problem. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, yeah. Okie dokie. Come with me. First, you gotta ask Rupert if he'll hire you. Look, it's an apple. Hey, Rupert! This had better be an important time. Is it? It is. I have great news. You found the crumble thief? Not quite. But it's still good. You know how, that, how Lester and Flora called him sick today? Uh, don't remind me. Today is not the day I want to be short-staffed. Don't worry not, Rupert. My cousins can take their place. Your cousins? I thought they were just visiting. Do they even have any experience with waiting tables? Or with tea? Do they have any experience? What kind of question is that? Why, they come from... Where they come from, they are practically famous for serving tea. This person is a hype man. Citric, welcome back to the stream. How you doing, friend? Appreciate you popping in. Hello. 
Instagram. So, what do you know about tea? Well, I know that. Well, now that all depends. What would you like me to tell you about? Are you serving ceremonial grade matcha or just premium? Do I smell a blend of silver tips and dried silver berries? I certainly hope you're keeping the water temperature no hotter than 180 degrees. Hmm, I suggest putting out some honey and fresh cream for that assam you have. And good choice for the para puree. I'll just. It'll help balance the heaviness of these desserts. <laughs> yes, quite, quite. Fine. Okay, they can work here. Whoa! But if anything goes wrong, I'm holding you accountable, sugar baby. I understand. The smaller one can work as a tea server. Take him and show him the ropes. Yes, sir. And since the taller one seems to have an extensive knowledge about tea, I'll have Alfred show her how to assemble the special tea leaf blends. Alfred! Uh, yes, sir. We have a new tea specialist to fill in for Lester. Please escort her to the kitchen and see to it that she knows where all the leaves and ingredients are kept. Yes, sir. Right this way, ma'am. Isn't all tea hot leaf juice? How can a member of my own family say something so horrible? <laughs> you can do it, Mom! Thanks, dear. Have fun out there. You too! Well, what are you two waiting for? Go get your uniform, Mom, and serve that tea! The guests are waiting. <laughs> the apple's just been standing there. My room's just up ahead. I'm so excited you get to work here. This can be so much fun. You, you can wear Lester's uniform. It's over there on the bed. The red bow tie is the best part. When I grow a little bit bigger, I'll get to wear a red bow tie too. Anyways, go ahead and get changed. I'll meet you back in the servants' quarters. That's where my Rupert is. And the free desserts. <laughs> See you soon, my new buddy. He just hopped over me. <laughs> I'm gonna change my uniform. <laughs> I love that I'm still wearing my little hat. Can I go in any of these? Nope. I can go in that one. Oh, money! Mine. It was money. Look inside. Stacks and stacks of powdered white wigs. At least they clarified wigs. Is that a mirror? What is that? Stack of books on various subjects. Book one! Wig whimsy. My powdered white wigs are no longer... Just for the 18th century composers. Number two. A dignified bud. Five easy, easy steps that will take you from uncouth dud to gentle bud. Pink men don't bloom. A guide to being the perfect gentle bud. Okay. The painting of the monster watching two people dance inside of a lighthouse. Is that a reference to a... Uh, to the moon. I found concert poster. It looks like someone was writing lyrics to the inside cover of this book. Tea time. A little buds remix. Work me to the bone all day, serving scones, and the boss in the white wig won't leave me alone. I got 18 hour days and they call it overtime, but they're paying me in tea. Now that's, I can, now that I call it, that a crime. So I'm hanging up my apron, turning into my shoes from now until, until the end, I'll be kicking rhymes to you. And to everyone out there, if you really feel the means, throw your pedals in the air. We'd be pouring out our tea. Of course, say yeah, say tea time. We don't want no tea time. <laughs> oh, goodness.
Oh, it's illegal. Throw it out, T. Oh, hi, friend. Oh, you're upset. Thanks. Okay, so I'm going to teach you how to be a tea server. To be honest, it's pretty easy. You just go around the party and ask the guests if they want tea. If they do want tea, try to find out which kind they like and come back with the room to grab the tea for them. If they like you, I bet they'll tell you stuff that'll help us find this food for you. That's interesting. Over here are the different kinds of tea. Pour some into your cup and bring it to them. Easy, right? But remember, you can only carry one cup of tea at a time. And if you bring a guest the wrong tea, they'll have to come back and try again. Got it? I think so. Why don't you try... Why don't you practice on Rupert? Bring him a cup of his favorite tea. The Cinnabary Special! Oh! Oh, oh, oh. And one more thing. See this pink up here? Yep. If you accidentally get the wrong key and you're still here, you can just pour it out in the sink. Got it. Okay, we'll bring Rupert that Silverberry special key. Uh. Ow. Rose. Okay. A taboo blend of black tea and rose petals. Not for the faint of heart. Ugh, rose. Pour a cup of the rose. That... No. Silverberry special. Rare white tea mixed with fragrant dried silverberries. Yes. You are now carrying a cup of it. Yes. Here you go. Present for you. What now? This should better be important. Here you go. Is this the syllabary special you brought to me? Delicious. I wonder if you would have given him the wrong one what was happened. Yeah, you did it! Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to tend to some important business. Sugar baby! Fuji! Fuji Apple, that's hilarious. I'm heading to the party rooms. Oh, wait. I'm heading to the party rooms. I'll be there if you need me. Good luck and stay out of trouble. Yes, sir. Paying someone in tea is illegal. <laughs> rose tea. Oh, I don't like anything rose flavored. It's too overpowering. You're all ready. The party is being held in the rooms to your left. Now, get out there and serve some tea. All right. Do, 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 do. I want some of those desserts, though. Oh, that's a lot of people. I trust that the buns are warm this time. Yes, sir, Mr. Rupert. Very warm buns. Good, because we don't serve cold buns here. Oh, it's a little buzz. <laughs> cold buns. Oh, shit. Yeah. You there! What are you doing over there? Oh, I'm out of here. He's got fucking... He's got whatever thug life glasses on. The, these. Yeah. He, he has those glasses on. Wait, what did you do? Get back here now! What the crumble? Whoa! No! His head blew. The tea party will be ruined! You like gentle rose flavor? Why do you have that? Oh my god. Oh, uh, the, <laughs> the coolest. I am cool, Birch. <laughs> Can I get you any tea today? Oh, I'm quite full at the moment, so no. The tea was absolutely delicious, though. The buns, on the other hand, were a bit on the cold side. Oh, don't worry about Rupert. He loses his wigs all the time. But it's okay, he's got like 50 of them. Alright. Can I get you any tea today? Oh, tea, sir. I'm looking for to try something bold. Oh, dear. Not this again. Excuse me. How bold do you want to be, Nettle? I mean, you're already wearing a hat that has flowers on it. What's wrong with flowers? My dear, we are flowers. You're wearing body parts. Your point. Oh, that gives me a fantastic idea. Wrong person. Oh, that gives me a fantastic idea. Tea server, could you please bring me a tea that has some sort of flowers in it? 
goodness. Flowers in it. All right, I'm on it. Move, person. Have a good one, Burst. Thanks for popping in. Hope you sleep well. Uh, rose petals. That has flowers in it. You're now carrying it. Yes, thank you. Let's go. I got some little legs. Here you go. Oh, did you bring me something bold? Please enjoy. Oh, this is just perfect. The aroma, the subtle sweetness, it's so taboo. Disgusting. Oh, Minerva, live a little. We have cousins who are roses. That's fucked. It's, yay, I did it. Such good tea and such a delightful tea server you are. You're too generous with the praise, Denti. Don't give him a big head now. Although, this child is worlds better than Maxwell. Maxwell? Uh, Maxwell? Don't you mean little birds? Oh. Uh, is that what this little hooligan is calling himself nowadays? Little birds? He's a hooligan. End of story. His father was kind of enough to get him a job working here, but his child doesn't appreciate it. He runs around playing practical jokes on folks, putting frogs in teapots and drawing cross things on the walls. If it were up to me, that child would be sent away to the boarding school and lands at the cave Buds. Poor oh, Rupert, it must be terribly tiring having to deal with Maxwell. Uh, I mean, little Buds. Why doesn't Rupert just fire this little brat already? I heard that Rupert lets him work here because he owed his father a favor. Favor no favor, that child is a hooligan. You're looking positively unpink. Do they not want any tea? I can't have any snacks. Look at this little kid! Can I get you any tea today? Uh, why is he in three angry deer, but that's okay, I'm only like a cake anyways. So many cake is my favorite! Can I get you any tea today? I have plenty of tea right here, thank you. I do rather wish someone would refill the dirt bowl. I mean, who doesn't like a bit of dirt in their tea now and then? Dirt? Hmm, dirt. Uh, so I gotta bring the strawberry cake? Do you want any tea? Can I get you any tea today? Nope. Okay. Maybe bring some buns and some tea. Or some cake. Cake? Fresh cabbage light like cream. I want to bring him some of that. Maybe not. Is there more guests? <laughs> Sounds good, Cedric. We'll catch you in a bit. Can I take that down? <laughs> oh, I think there's more. Yep. Hello. Can I get you an ET today? Oh, thank you. I'm quite content with these little sandwiches. Can I get you any tea today? This is the Mansoor, isn't it? Nope. No, thank you. I'm just analyzing pieces of art on these walls. Do you think the Mansoor longs to dance in the way those two are dancing in the lighthouse? I'm betting money that that is to the moon. Also, that guy is gigantic. Do you see that? I trust that you're enjoying Monsoor's yeah. special tea party. Wow, is that the Monsoor? Rivali is best. I will fucking fight you, Josh. Rivali's the worst. The actual worst. You want to get banned? That's how you get banned. Wow, is that the Monsoor? Look at him. He looks like something from another game, but I can't place it. He's really big. Can I help you? Um, can I meet the Monsoor? I am afraid not. As you may know, a thief has been stealing food from the Monsoor's tea parties. This is a matter of grave importance. After all, if this thief was able to steal the prize jewel of the party, the pecan, polypot, syllabary, crumble... Uh oh. Oh, crumble! Oh, sir, everything is running smoothly. No need to fret. 
This is just a disaster. As I was saying, if the thief was able to steal something so important, who knows what they're capable of? So I'm very sorry, but I cannot allow anyone to see the monster until this criminal is found. It's just too dangerous. I just met him on my other game. He's the door. I He's such a douchebag, dude. Oh my god. I thought he was cleverly cocky until you get to know him and he's a fucking asshole. Did you meet Teba? He's dope. I think, uh... Your word man was uh, adding too much to the end of the sentence there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I get you an AT today? Oh, no, no, I'm doing the interest in the desserts. Actually, uh... Are you okay? I had three donuts. Oh, that's a lot of donuts. And half an apple pie. Like a whole half of pie? A cheese plate, a box of chocolates, three more donuts, and a hamburger. Oh my gosh! They have hamburgers here? You got to help me, man. Desmond is not okay. I'll try my best. Is there something I can get you? Oh, uh, well, I think I'm in pain because I ate too much fatty food. Do you have a tea that would help cut the fat a bit? You know, balance the heaviness out? Hmm, I got it! Mom said that puree helps teas balance out the heaviness of desserts. Yes, puree tears. That's what I need. Bring me some of that. Please. Uh, I don't know how the petals could stretch like this. That little sunflower definitely looks like the plants for a zombie sunflower. All right, I need to get the puree tea. Oh, that was quick. Welcome back, Citric. Uh, ding, 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 ding. Don't run into me. Candy cap puree. Earthy puree blended with sweet maple candy cap mushrooms. All right, we're on it. Desmond, I got your tea. Right? Oh, dude. Like, I was thinking of making some after, after school. After stream. Um, make some of that flowering tea I have because it's so freaking good, but... It's green tea and has caffeine in it. Hello. Did you bring me some pure tea? I need it. I need it. Here you go. Please enjoy. Okay, sweet to relieve Desmond's gonna be okay. You successfully served tea to a guest. Wow. Now I need to know how Monster Bud must feel. What do you mean? Well. Rumor has it that back in the day, when Monster wasn't yet such an oppressive size, he was dating one of the regulars here, a bud named Minerva. That's the lady over there. Minerva? Or Minerva? She's cranky, wears a hat and has a black bow. I think she's in the other room right now. Anyways, the Monster had so much that he grew so big and so tall that he could no longer see or hear her. And that was the end of that relationship. Team those raspberry biscuits. Ooh, I love some raspberry biscuits. I want chamomile. Do I have any biscuits? I do have chamomile. That music is so good. What a delightful pianist. He plays with so much emotion. Hey, you're working here now too, huh? Yeah, it's my first day on the job. Welcome aboard. One morning, though. This place is weird. What do you mean? Yes, see. Thanks. Can I distract him? Sometimes I feel like to change things up and play something more upbeat. The, the danger in that is their buds can start blooming when the music is too good. Blooming? Blooming, yeah. You know, our petals open, we turn into flowers. And let me tell you, buds do not like that. A bloomed bud is considered uncouth around here. Oh, it's like... A strippers party. We're not here in the garden anymore. This is a high so <laughs> this here is high society. So then what do you play? Beanstalk music. Budtoven. Something chill, you know. There's another picture. The name is Reginald. Splendid party, wouldn't you say? Yes, yes, I think my favorite thing is the monster bud artwork. He'll just have such a striking features, don't you think? Can I get you any tea today? Dorlando. That's about time someone came to take my order. This is last tea was not nearly strong enough for me. I'm looking for a black tea, perhaps something with fruit. It's gonna be the last one. 
Let's go get me some fruit tea. I didn't realize how much I craved those little biscuits. The little hard ones with the, like the little dried raspberries in them. Yeah, you're making me want them now. Stop it! Uh, fruit tea. Apricot vanilla, right flavors, seasonal apricot pear, nicely sweet. That actually is great tea. Black apricot or va vanilla? Was it vanilla apricot black tea? I think that's what it is. Loose leaf, oh, so good. Are those sugar cubes in those pots? Oh, did you bring me a good fruit flavored black tea? Please enjoy. Yes, this is exactly what I was looking for. Perfect. I changed his voice on accident. Tea server, do you know, you look like a bright young fellow with functioning eyes. Tell me something, will you? Okay. Is it just me or is there an apple working here? An apple? Yes, an apple. An apple who has clearly painted himself pink in an attempt to look like a sky bud, but he's not fooling me. It's Jolando. Or, uh, Reginald. It's Jolando talking about his apple conspiracy theories again. He's an apple! Sure, sure, and I'm a banana. Arrgh! Okay, so the apple is the fake one. How do I get him? Please, please say this. I see you, Apple. Well, now what? I served everyone. And there's just more people down here. That would suck. I want to know what's up. This is the kitchen. Is it? Oh, sugar baby. You did a great job today. Time to turn in. You guys can sleep in my room tonight. Oh, we did it. We're fine. We're good. You've been confronted. Uh, hey there. How are you? Hey, uh, I'm good. Woke up this morning and brushed my sky bud petals, ate a traditional sky bud breakfast, read a book on sky bud history. You know, typical things a typical sky bud could do. <laughs> good. I'm good. Um, hey there. Is that pink paint? Is that pink paint running down your back? Uh, so you like asking questions about things? I love things. Think that's great. Things are great. Questions are totally great. It's just, it kind of looks like there's pink paint on your back. Oh, no. Uh, that's not pink paint. That's lotion. Uh, pink lotion, you know. Or my petals. All sky buds use it. Uh, oh, um, hey there. I found him. Your mom is amazingly talented at creating new tea blends. It was a pleasure working with her. Uh, mom wants to talk with me. Everyone told me that you did a great job today. How was your day? How was your day? It was great fun. I've never seen so many tea supplies in all my life. We have barrels upon barrels of tea leaves, pieces of fruit and chocolate, dried flowers and herbs, bottles of essence from all over the world, fresh cream. It was fantastic. Alfred let me invent some several new blends. It was a pleasure, ma'am. You are, without a doubt, a true tea specialist. Everyone told me that you did a great job today. Ready for bed? Sounds good. I'm exhausted. Okay. Get out the way. Move, bitch. Knock, knock. Wasn't the, um... The nighttime place over there? I thought that's where I would go to sleep. The party rooms have been locked up for the evening. Yeah, I need to get over there. It's not gonna let me. Hello. Oh, set up the night. Yeah, we're ready for bedtime. Okay. Okay, I'll meet you in my room. Hey 
gonna sleep here for the night. But where are you gonna sleep? I can stay with Rupert tonight. He's a little stretched out, so I think he feels better for my, my company anyway. Did you guys find out anything about the food thief yet? Hmm, got a few leads. Oh, that's great. I know I can count on you. Well then, get some rest. We'll continue our investigation in the morning. Oh man, do I gotta do that all over again? 
at the Midnight Tea Shop. It's from the Midnight Tea Shop, sir. I love it. We must get more. Amazing. The monsieur likes it. Needless to say, we are all very impressed. Oh, wait. wait. Needless to say, we are all very impressed. Rest assured, you'll be buying lots of tea from his midnight tea shop. Yay! Thank you so much. Thank you. You and your mother are very, most welcome here anytime. Thank you, Wilford. Ding, ding. I'm really gonna miss you guys. You're like, well, you're like the cousins I never had. The cousins you never... The cousins that are... That are my cousins, my real cousins. Hmm. So don't be strangers, okay? Come visit us anytime. You can stay in my room. Oh, and here's a little present. Something to remind you of all the Skylands. I was gonna say a marble? Fuck yeah, we got two marbles. See you later, sugar baby. It's GTFO. Go finish this tea quest. I think I have to go back through the stinking hospital again to get over there. Although, once I get the the pick, I can probably unlock a bunch of shortcuts, so it might not be too bad. I'm good, 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 All right, back in my room. That's not my room. Uh, I need to go to Kisamura's room. That's right. Let's go give uh, the marbles to Sue first. Crash you something. Oh, it's Starlight Beautiful Planet. I can't believe you found it. It's so beautiful here. There are so many stars in this planet twinkling in the sky and all around you just like rock candy. It does get really cold though. But you can build forts out of blankets and couch cushions and pillows. Last time I was there, I built a castle out of pillows and a special quilt that had magical patches. It, it was warm and safe inside. Wow, a whole castle! My mom taught me how to build forts in my room so I could hide there in case of danger. Because here on this planet, no one can hurt you. You're totally safe there. It's like having a sleepover with your friends, but all the time. Thanks again for bringing this back to me. It's my flower marble! This marble is so special to me. The last time I was here, I found a floating island in the sky. It was covered with grass and flowers. The flowers were all different colors. Some were big, some were small. It smells so good there. Were there any blue ones? Yeah, lots! There's this little... There's, there's one blue flower that looks like a really big dandelion puff. But each puff has lots of tiny little blue flowers on it. There are blue roses too. Let's go there together sometime. We can climb to the top of the island and lay down in the flowers and watch the sky. The island moves with the wind. So an hour will go by and suddenly we'll be in a completely new place. Did you hear Winston found Gamma's wedding ring? Turns out it was on her finger this whole time. The weird thing is that she never had it on before. Winston kept it in a box for her next to her bed. Winston was so relieved. Nice. Right? She's precious as hell. Is the flower world real? 
I'm thinking I'm terminally ill or I'm in a coma. And I don't think it's real. Why did I come here? Oh, because I need to go in the, the, the land. Yeah, Sue's my favorite. She's got such life. Okay, I finished the tea shop. I still need to get a pickaxe. I don't remember how to do it, though. Hello. Thanks so much for your help. How'd it go? It went great! They all love... <laughs> Welcome. Would I owe the pleasure of the visit from Rupert? Milady, the monster sends his highest regards. He loved the sample of tea you gave him. We all did. That is wonderful to hear. If it's all right with you, the monster would like to place a rather large order within the coming week. Of course it is all right with me. I will be begin preparations immediately. You're always welcome to join us for this afternoon tea in the Skylands. As soon as I have free time, I would love to join all of you. Thank you. Thank you so much for your help. I'm more confident now that folks around the forest will know of the Midnight Tea Shop. Our neighbor Stormy has been found in the cave right outside our shop. Occasionally the entrance to the cave gets blocked by fallen rocks. You might need a pickaxe to clear them. Please ask her for some ask her for some dragon ash to help. Bloom. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know how to get a pickaxe yet. Fuck. Alright, I'm gonna go talk to Kisamura and let him know that we, we helped the shop. I also think that Sue's gonna die. And it makes me sad. We'll bring, uh, can we help you? Yeah, we did that. We did that. Okay. Damn it. Oh, shit. I'm talking about him sick. Well, a long time ago, I fell ill. The kind of ill that can no label doctor can cure. So I visited Morse back when he was still awake. He only so care of this hot... Oh, no, no. We did read this. I gotta go back through the thing again. Unless this person left. Nope. Wait, can I go up and around this tree? Aha! Funny. I need a pickaxe. Gosh, you know what I'm really craving right now? A hamburger. Can't wait to real meet the real life water dragon. We should head back to the cave near the tea shop so we can get some dragon ash from Stormy. I mean, I need to get a pickaxe in order to get the cave. I remember signing Jackie's hut saying we could make one using three lumen rocks, three night stones, and five camper sticks. Let's keep an eye open for those items. I think I saw a pretty blue rock in the skylands. Could that be a lumen rock? Oh. I think I already knew the material somehow. Oh, this goes into the... I got four lumen rocks, three night stone, and what was the other one? Camphor sticks. I think I got it. And that, um, that poster can go into the kids' room. You get really sucked into fantasies. I feel that. You think I needed five of everything? I thought it was like three lumen rocks. I guess we'll find out. Well, let's go give uh, stuff for the kids room. That's not the kids room. Hello, kids room. Friend. Concert poster. No holds barred. <laughs> That's adorable. Space! How's it going, friend? Welcome to the stream. We're doing just fine. How are you? What's new, crazy, exciting with you? Why is that hallway so creepy? I 
an orange tree just sprouted. Oh, wait, it's just Cedric. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Doing great. Just got done playing. Oh, you were playing some... Uh... I keep wanting to say Mario Kart. Mortal Kombat. But toss are nice. How'd the games go? I want a pickaxe. One moment, please. Heck yeah, we got us a pickaxe. There's a new pickaxe. Dope, let's go break some stuff. Look for any rocks. Oh, there's some down here. This is gonna be a shortcut, right? Nope, it's just a cave. I don't know if it gives me any items, but I'm going to break them down anyways. <gasps> oh, it's the dragon! Oh, shit. I thought it was going to be in the other cave. Fuck yeah, dude. Look at the dragon! You beat him twice? You beat me one million times? <laughs> yeah, it's is good. Hello, dragon. Oh, that's probably going to take me to the other cave. Oh, guys, we got to give him a voice. Hmm... Let's do, uh... What brings you to my domain? No. That's, that's too much. What brings you to my domain? Domain? Domain. Nah, no echo. Um... Oh. Fucking hard tune was on, no wonder. There we go. What brings you to my domain? Whoa! What are you staring at, child? I'm sorry, it's just... I've never seen a real dragon before. Well, that's because we are not very common around these parts. You're so cool! Yes. Tell me, child, what is it you need? What do you do here? I am a water dragon, so it is my job to regulate the waterways in the clouds. I try to keep everything in balance and make sure the force gets... the water it needs. Do you have any dragon ash? I can make dragon ash, if that's what you mean. I am a dragon after all. How do you make it? Is it hard to do? Oh. Is it hard to do? You're just full of questions, aren't you, child? Sorry. It's quite all right. Dragon ash is the byproduct of dragon fire. Of course, we all have different kinds of fire. Mine is really more like ice. It's not difficult to do, however. Creating fire requires a lot of concentration. And your natural element, mine being water, of course must be in balance. Oh, I see. Unfortunately, if you haven't noticed, things around here have been in... have not been in balance lately. Beside the increase in negative energy coming from the envoy, I can sense that something's blocking the flow of water. Something isn't... If something isn't done, the whole forest could go into a massive drought. That's terrible! I know. Mmm. Maybe we could help clear away whatever's blocking the water. If we did that for you, would you make us some dragon ash? Uh, you really want that dragon ash, don't you? It's for our friend, Kaz Kazuko. She said... I've skipped it too fast. Oh, is that right? Kazuko certainly does know a thing or two about gardening. She's trying to grow Hik Hikari Bana, isn't she? Yes, how'd you know? Oh, a well, dragon knows many things. Okay, then. If you clear the waterways, I'll make sure... Make you some dragon ash for Kazuko. Thank you! Take this. If there are boulders blocking the flow of water, you should be able to strike it with this. I got some scale flint. But be careful. Scale flint is known to cause large reactions. You get to the water block and you might try going through the door up there. Good luck. What app do you... Uh, I don't use an app. I use a... A GoXLR. It's a hardware. Right here. You like the voices? They crack you up? Good. I found... Uh, I tried a bunch of different software voice 
things, and uh, I didn't like any of them. Ah, I'm over here now. Okay, here goes nothing. Am I gonna drown now? Run! Okay. <laughs> Ooh, that was a close one. Great job. Uh, was that it? Whoa. What is it? Nope, that wasn't it. Is it this one? Is this one? What is it you need? We did it! My sources tell me that you got the job done. We did! There were boulders blocking the water, but we cleared them out. Impressive. Well, now that things are in order, I think you should uphold my end of the bargain. One moment, please. I'm glad that wasn't really a long process. Whoa! Well then, here you go. See to it that Kazuko throws that flower to its fullest potential. It means a lot to her, I know, you know. Tell me, child. Do you know why Ka Kazuko is growing the Hikari Bana? I'm not sure. Here in the forest, the Hikari Bana is a symbol of great love. They say it has the power to bring loved ones together. To heal, to bond, to help find someone who has been lost. Oh. Perhaps Kazuko was trying to remind her husband of their love. She feels he has forgotten her. He hasn't forgotten her. You mention her all the time. Yes, but she does not know that. They have not spoken in ages. They haven't? Kisaburo's sickness has weakened his mind. He's disoriented. He can't tell day from night. His speech is nonsensical. It's amazing that he's able to communicate with you, child. I see. I see. That's why it's a noble thing you are doing. Helping someone who cannot reach out themselves. Good luck, and may you find your own path and happiness as well. Thank you, Stormy. Sick. Oh, yes, shortcuts. We love shortcuts. I'm betting that dog has to do with Sue's story. Here you go. Thanks so much for your help. I got the dragon ash. Oh, you got the dragon ash. Thank you so much. Well then, I think it's time for me to visit Kisabora at the hot springs. Now that the Higarabana has some dragon ash to help it bloom, perhaps I can finally bring it to him as a gift. Oh, he's gonna love it. Actually, on second thought, why don't we all go together? I'm sure that my husband will want to personally thank you both for helping us out with the shop. That sounds great. Alright then, let's go. So many voices in this game. He's not there. Oh goodness. Where did he go? Kisaburo! She's just carrying this flower around. Kisabora, where are you? I'm so sorry, you two. I was hoping we could all spend some time together with Kisabora, but... I'm honestly not sure where he went. I'm going to look for him, so please feel free to do whatever you like. Thank you again for all your help. There's a firefly down there. I'm gonna go get it. Oh, yeah, Citric, those are broken right now. Um, fortunately, I should be able to re refund your, uh, your points. I can do that after stream. Yeah, for some reason, Blurp is broken today. All those sound effects are brzoked. Oi! Uh, I'm gonna go get that firefly. Mom, look! Sweet. Another shortcut. We found another door. Where do you think this leads? Hmm. Only one way to find out.
Okay, let me try something. Let me try something. Stupid cooldown. I should be able to write it. I'm a streamer. Yeah, I'll have to... Um, I'll have to fix it after stream, hopefully, because... Or, I can't fix it. I think Blurp has its, um... Stinking, uh... Its website is down, because... None of those sounds are working. And... You know what? I wonder if... I, I'm gonna try something... I'm going to tell it to refresh its cache and see if that does anything, but I highly doubt it's going to do anything. Yes, it, they're, something's broken with their extension. It's not working. It's really annoying. Where am I? Oh, I'm, I'm Kazuko. Okay. Here's a burrow. Can you tell me what year it is? I don't have time for this. I have to fix this order before my supervisor gets back. He's a burrow. I want you to try to focus on my voice. Can you tell me where you are right now? What kind of question is that? I have to fix the power lines. I think we're going to have to run some te more tests. I'll set something up with the lab this afternoon. Sounds good. Are you just going to keep taking my tools away from me? Oh dear, I brought you some of your favorite snacks. I thought it might help too. Where are you? Oh man, this is sad. Unauthorized people aren't supposed to be here. It's dangerous. Oh, Kisaburo. It's me. It's your Kazuko. Did the supervisor send you? Are you here to cover the night shift? Oh man, that's sad. Isabaro, you remember? I'm gonna change her voice. I'm gonna change it to what she was in Mermaid Land. You remember this flower? We really don't have much time. If I don't get the power back up, the boss is not gonna be happy. You don't remember, do you? Is that what he's looking for, is the flower? Hey, Kusaburo! You've certainly been visiting a lot these days. Who, me? I, uh... Is this their tea shop? I just really like the bread. <laughs> sure, sure. Whatever you say, buddy. It's Kazuko. These desserts are lovely. Thank you. Please let me know if you need anything else. <laughs> Stop it, Nobu. She'll hear you. Well, what are you waiting for? Go talk to her. I'm going. I'm going. I, uh... Oh, hello, Kisaburo. Kazuko! Oh, wow, I didn't know you were working today. He's trying to feign it. Ah! Well, um... 
We have some new... Whoa. We have some new red bean manju if you'd like to try them. Oh, I'd love to. Kisaburo? Oh, sorry. I just, uh... I, I uh... I, I brought you a gift. Uh, a gift? Oh, look how happy she is. This is so nice of you. Okay, close your eyes. That's a giant sucker. All right, you can open them. Oh, Kisaburo, how lovely. Or is it a bouquet of flowers? A beautiful flower for a beautiful lady. Oh, you're such a smooth talker. I'm not just being smooth. Or uh, I'm not just being smooth. So smooth. I really mean it. I would bring you flowers until we were old and gray and couldn't remember things anymore. Oh, that's sad. Is that so? I'm certain of it. Give him a break, Kazuko. The poor guy was pacing outside for 20 minutes before he came in here. I love this fucking guy. Just outing him. Nobu! Aw, oh, you poor thing. You must be so thirsty. I'll bring you some tea to go down with that dessert. Well, I definitely can't say no to that. Kisaburo, dinner's ready. I just put the baby down for her nap so we can have a bit of quiet time. Wait, does his kids not visit? Kazuko! You only get one day off, but you still work so hard on the garden. What are you planting out here? Is it those radishes you got from the... I, uh... uh... Did you plant all these? Well, I, uh... Yep. Those flowers. You like them? That's the flower you gave me when I worked at the bakery. Oh, Kisabur, of course I like them. I can't believe you remembered. I'm yours, Kazuko. I always will be. Aww, this is sad. The flowers are in bloom again. Oh, our kids, Kimiko. Um. Are you still here? Oh, Mom, you must be exhausted. You need to go home and get some rest. The doctors will call you if you get anything urgent happens. I'm not leaving. And at the very least, will you please eat something? I will. We're going to turn in some of the paperwork. Mom, it's going to be okay. I know, I just need some time with him is all. Call us if you need anything. I will. I like that name, Kimiko. It's pretty. Oh, Kisubara. Is there any of you left in there? That should... That should do it. Oh shit. Did you just pass out? Here, I brought you some water to help you cool down. Yeah, if he stroke. You've been working so hard on the garden that He's a burrow. He's a burrow. He's a burrow, can you hear me? Kazuko. Get some rest, my dear. Uh, I think the baby's crying. It might be time to change his diaper. The kids are grown up. What? The baby. Don't you hear that? Honey. Our babies are all grown up. Right. All grown up. Try to get some sleep. He's a burrow. 
Kizo. Kizabara, where are you, dear? Oh shit. Oh shit. Kizabara, what's going on in there? They're closing in on us. Oh shit. He's actually losing his mind. He doesn't just have, um, Alzheimer's. Kizabara, what are you doing? Hey, you! Why are you still here? We've been dismissed. Can't you see we're under attack? Kizabara, please get off the table. You're gonna hurt yourself. What's going on in here? The supervisor gave us all orders to leave. We have to go now. Dad, what are you doing? Go get help. I'll try to stop him from breaking anything else. Mom, you're not safe. It's not safe for you. I'll be fine. Just go. Ma'am, I know what you want. I know you want to care for your husband, but at this point, he's a danger to you. I'm, I'm not afraid of my husband. Ma'am, you can't do this by yourself. Mitsuo. Who's Mitsuo? Reiko's right. I'd need constant supervision. Takashi. Oh my god, they have four kids? It's just too much for you, Mom. And he could still talk with me. He told me that if he got worse, he'd prefer to stay in his own home. I just want to honor that. Mom! I don't mind staying up all night. I can prepare all the meals in advance to make sure to... Mom! Dad doesn't even remember you. I'm sorry, Mom. It's just that this is better for both of you. If Dad doesn't stay here anymore... I know. You're right. Okay. We can move him in the morning. Isaburo. What's it like in there? Inside your head, I mean. Are you scared? Do you feel any pain? Do you still remember anything about yourself? Or about your life before all this happened? Please, tell me you remember something. She's crying. Anything. Please say her name. Please say her name. That's odd. I could have swore that door was boarded up when I got here. Yeah, see, see he's trying to plant flowers. Oh, no, he remembered as soon as she leaves, of course. How's it go? Where could he have gone? She's so pretty. Now your clothes are all wet. Whoa! He's a burrow. Oh, he's a burrow. I was so worried. I looked every for you. I...
Oh my goodness. Did you plant all of these? Well, I, 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 I hate that I keep switching the voices. Well, I, um... Yep. Oh, Kisa, bro. You like him? Of course I do. Oh, this is gonna be their... This is gonna be their song. I love oh, he's singing. My only, you're everything to me. I have tried all my life to be just what you need. Sometimes it may seem I'm a million miles away But my dear I've been here And always will be old. I got more in No Kokoro Part 3! Get a booby, get a booby, get a booby. Get a booby, get a booby, get a booby, get a booby, get a booby. I just wanted to thank you both again. Times have been tough, but I'm going to try my best every day. We have a saying in the world of tea, one time, one meeting. Basically, this will be the first and the last time we ever meet. The first and last chance. The first and last moment. So let's make it the best it can be. Take care, my friends. Mom, there's a door in the tea shop. I wonder if this one leads back to the hospital. Let's go check it out. Of course it leads back to the hospital. They all do. And you! Doody doody! The big pipe's connected to the small pipe. The small pipe's connected to the big drain. The big drain's connected to the... Oh, hey guys! Hi, Emma! What is that thing? Oh, you mean this thing? It's a water pump. They used them to drain the water back with the lower floors and the hospital got flooded after the, uh, well, you know. Yeah. There's a few more around here. I'm trying to find them. Why are you looking for them? I like you, kids, so I'm gonna be real with you. You both know there's something special about this place. I've seen you watering random plants, making the dune beanstalks grow, talking to bears and water people. How did you know? These worlds are connected. You know this as well as I do. These devices, they seem to drain more than just the water that used to be here in the hospital. Why don't you try it? Maybe it'll open some new paths for you on the other side. Oh, uh... Hey, kid. Why do you keep helping me? Even after I, uh, well... After I accuse you of doing bad things that you didn't even do. Kid, I don't hold that against you. I would have thought those things about me too if I were you. Well, we've all been given our own challenges. Sometimes when we're working in them out, our paths will collide with others who are working on challenges of their own. We help each other more than we know. It's time for me to go now. I think my time's running out. Oh, you hang in there, okay? Okay. Boop. Turn on the water pipe to start draining water. Yes. Ooh. Money. Can I look in this mirror? Nope. Oh, 
Oh, hey, hey, hey. This is the other plant that we needed. I found little Buzz Buzz Remix CD. <laughs> That's great. Found some more money. I have way more money than I need. Little Buds Remix CD. That's funny. All right. What about this? Can't do anything. All right. Let's go drop off that Little Buds Remix CD. Went. Did it just go in the jukebox? That do be a bop though. Actually, you know what? Has that lady left this area yet? No. Boom is right about those water pipes. If you really do drain more than just the water that used to be in the hospital, well, is there anyone else you still need to help? Someone that perhaps you couldn't reach before? Uh. Oh! Yeah! We might be able to get to Sue. Get off my way, I'm gonna go talk to Sue. Same. I think he, he's I think he's actually in a coma. Yes! Oh, let's go talk to Sue. How come she could get over here and I couldn't? Oh wait. Oh. Tell me about your friend. Oh, she's the best. She's the only one. Who... Oh, yeah, we did all these. Did I do what kind of stuff did you do? Yep, the catch. I know she's waiting for me. I feel so bad. Too late! Wish I could remember when we were supposed to meet. Cookie time! What's up, Yuri? I was wondering if it was gonna be you. And they go for cookie! I'm gonna you. Always have get that cookie. How you doing, my dude? Welcome to the stream. But I can't remember much of anything anymore. She was counting on me. Who was counting on you, Sue? My friend. She needs someone to take care of her. She didn't have anyone to take care of her. She didn't have anyone to love her. I'm pretty sure it's that dog. I promised that we'd take care of each other, but I broke that promise. I have to find her. We'll find your friends who I promise. Thank you. You dropped your marble! Or it's a bell. She dropped this. Oops, she dropped this. What do you think it is for, Mom? Hmm, I'm not sure. That was a little gill. I use a ribbon with a bell on it, just like this, as a pet collar. T, I'm telling you, it's the dog! A pet collar? Yep. The noise from the bell helped us find our cats and dogs when they were hiding. And it made it harder for them to catch birds and mice. Mom, look! Mom, look! It says Poochie on the side. I was right! Hmm, that name seems familiar. Let's go get Poochie! I'm pretty sure Poochie's dead in real life. 
or her parents made her give her up. Scooch tree. Wait. Was she up this? I think she was up this one. No, she's... Uh, she's by Kisabura. Is there rocks down here I can break? No. I don't remember if there was rocks in that cave. Why is there Speedy Bear? He's a happy bear. <laughs> hey, Stormy. Just passing through. I don't want to wake you from your nap. Oh, I can't go through here now. Damn it. That shortcut immediately got closed. Oh, wait. No, it's right there. Forgot. Aha. Bushi, I got you a collar. Bark, bark. Mom, um, look. She's sniffing the bell we picked up back there. Are you Sue's friend? You want us to take you to her? I think she wants to follow us. Oh, she seems like such a sweet dog. We'll take you back to your friend, little one. Oh, wait. Oh, she seems like such a sweet dog. We'll take you back to your friend, little one. Yay, Mom, let's go. We got a, a winged doggo. I think this is a shortcut, right? Yeah, it just connects. Cool. He's zoom. He's zooming. Isn't the dragon be like, the fuck? I just balanced all the water. Now it's out of balance again. think she'd go I'm not sure dear <laughs> what was that grunty noise secret door work work is that gonna be to her room wow poochie thanks yeah I'm pretty sure the doggy died Oh, please don't get the dog hit. Yeah, she was a stray. It's either she's dead or her parents didn't allow, let her to keep her because she's a stray. But aren't you hungry? I am, but you know I can't go home right now. Oh, okay. But just don't catch a cold and chilly these days. I'll try my best. See you later, Yuki. I'm a dog. I'm a dog. Bork, bork. Hi. Wanna play? It's pretty tough for us strays when the weather starts turning cold. I think it might snow soon. Keep warm, pup. Is it not a dog dog or kitty? Hey, pup! Bark, bark. Ah, another stray dog. I thought the city took care of that problem years ago. Fuck off, lady. I'm a puppy. You don't say that to a fucking puppy. The store is closed right now. There's a near kitty. Sorry, pup. I can't let you pass. Why not? Wait. You know around here, aren't you? Where's your litter? Where's your ma? I don't know. I just woke up this morning and they were all gone. Oh, I'm sorry, kid. Well, how about this? If you're looking for a warm place to sleep, prove to me you're a good pup. Bring me something to eat and I'll let you sleep in the alley back here. The hot water pipes run directly through it so it's nice and warm. Good company, too. All the nice cats and dogs hang out back there. 
Cats and dogs hang out together? Of course. This town is we straight stick together. Cat, dog, it don't matter. Deep down, we all just want a warm bed, a full tummy, and someone to love us. So it's a deal, right? Bring me some food so you can join us. I'll try my best. Oh, they're, are they using me? Hello. They said the store was closed. They lie. My friend says there was a mega crocodile around here. I haven't caught one of those yet. Was that a Pokemon reference? I have to walk five kilometers before Bruce Talion can grow wings. Doggies. My humans moved away last month and left me behind. I miss them so much. That's fucked. <laughs> Name pudding. Last week we lost another friend. The people in that building called animal control on him. They came and took him away. Be careful, it's a tough world for us strays, man. You can smell lots of good things inside. Unfortunately, they're all out of reach. It smells like humans. Looks inside the cardboard box. Filled with folded clothes and toys. Oh, hello. Bark. Oh my gosh, a stray dog just wandered to the office. Someone call animal control. I'm just a fucking puppy. Assholes, I hate this... Night. <laughs> Have a good one, Yuri. I appreciate you popping in. Sleep well, my friend. Oh, I can go in it now. Hello. Oh, Loni, why didn't you come home last night? Everyone told me that I shouldn't let you be in an outdoor cat because it's too dangerous in the city. Looney was the cat we met earlier. But I wanted you to be free. Oh, hello, dear, dear doggy. Me? Oh, I'm just really worried right now. My cat Looney, she usually comes home every night, but last night she didn't return. I had to come to work today, but I'm so worried sick. What if something happened to her? What if she's lost? You probably can't understand a word I'm saying. Well, doggy, I'm sorry, but I can't let you stay inside. My boss has a strict no dog policy, so it's not safe for you here. Please take care, little one. Aw. Cat! Hey, Looney, you're back. Come on in. Wait, do I not need to bring food? Aw, oh, shit. Smells like pizza and coffee. Looks as though the trash can was em just emptied. Balls. Doesn't smell like anything. Doesn't smell like food. Smells like plastic bottles. I used to like to chew on those things. Can't really smell anything. It smells like old newspapers. All right, don't get hit by a car. I cannot cross the street. Can't cross the street. Okay. I'm gonna go back in here then. Again, doggy, I'm so so sorry, but I can't let you stay inside. Okay, and it just makes me leave. Okay. Did you find any food? Not yet. Say, who was the cat who just followed you into the alley? You mean Looney? Real sweet black cat, bright yellow eyes. She's actually actually not stray. She has a really nice owner and lives in the apartments around here, but she still hangs out with us. That's rare, you know. Most domestics don't want to mess with our kind, but Looney's different. I know. I don't have any food for you yet, but it would be alright if I went into LA just for a bit. I have a message for Looney. It's about her owner. You okay? He's really worried about her. I guess she didn't come home last night. Hmm. Okay, you seem like an honest pup. I'll let you back there just for a bit to talk to Looney. Thank you. Looney's the black cat right in there. Go ahead and deliver your message. I'll wait here for you. Hello, Looney. I, uh, well, I, I saw your owner. And, um, uh, he seemed really, really worried about you. He said you didn't come home last night. Oh, no, I was afraid he'd worry. You see, I don't usually stay away from home like this long, but this was an emergency. My best friend's owner passed away, so he's really sad and he's my company right now. Oh, Looney, you don't want your owner to worry. 
You've already been such a great help to me during this time. You should go back to him. I'll be fine now. Kenny, are you sure? I'm sure. I think I need a nap now anyway. I'll come back every day just as I always do because you're my best friend. You're my best friend too, Looney. Thank you for letting me know about this. Do you think you could take me to my owner? Okay. I'm a good pup. I'm gonna observe the rest of the ship. He's sleepy. It's a raccoon! Trash panda. What? Oh, I see you made a new friend. Ready to head out? Yep. Okay, let's go. Bark, bark. Doggy, I'm really sorry, but I can't let you... Looney! Looney, is that you? Meow. Oh, Looney, I thought something awful had happened to you. Is this doggy your friend? Thank you for bringing back... Bringing my cat back to me. I'm so relieved she's okay. Come here, I got something for you. <gasps> He's gonna give me a snack. We say thank you. Why don't you have some of this fish cake? Fuck oh, yeah. I got a fish cake. Take care, little one. Work. I'm a good doggo. I'm a good doggo. I got you fish cake. Oh my goodness, that heavily said. Is that fish cake? You can have it if you like. I hope you enjoy it. We're gonna enjoy it together. Come on, pup. You're one of us now. Aww. Look at all this food! Tonight we have a special treat. Courtesy of our new friend, Fuji. Is that fish cake? Fish cake! And I must say, champ, you did an amazing job as well. The baker's wife gave me an all their leftovers because I ate a squirrel that was destroying her garden. <laughs> Bravo! There are enough donuts here to start our own bacon. Or there are enough donuts here to start our own bakery. A cat and a dog bakery. That'll be the day. Welcome to the first official Tokyo Cat and Dog Bakery. <laughs> okay, everyone, let's eat. Aw, he making friends. Where's that dog? The boss said she'd be right by the elementary school. Let me check the orders again. No! Why are they... Those are not animal control. Those are doctors. There she is! Get her! Fuck off! Hey! Oh, it's Sue! Okay, pup, you're coming with us now. She's awfully calm for her stray, isn't she? Yeah. She's a nice dog. It's a shame no one will adopt her. Says who? You mangy. Such a forlorn look on her face. And it reminds you of Ashiko, doesn't she? Yeah, you're right. A big mangy Akita like Hachiko wouldn't last too long in today's Tokyo. Such a shame. They'll probably put her down in seven days like all the others. Ah, oh, it's sad. Oh, wait. Wait! You can't put her down. I'm sorry, little girl. I'm sorry, little girl. I know it sounds really sad, but there's just too many stray dogs and not enough homes. No, I mean, you can't put her down because... Because... She lied. And she ended up moving. Because she's my dog. She's your dog? Yes. What's your name? Uh, my name? Her name is Poochie. Poochie! Poochie, did you sneak outside again? I told you to stay in the yard. I see. And where is Poochie's collar? Oh, um... Well, you see, she keeps taking it off because it's too tight. Mom's been meaning to get her a new one. One that fits, but... She works full time, so she's really busy. Okay, but please be careful that the fence is dog proof next time. If the dog gets out, it's very dangerous for people as well as for the dog. I understand, sir. It won't happen again. Keep an eye on her. I will, sir. I promise. Aw, we saved her. 
If anyone hurts my dog, I'm gonna murder them. Huh, that was a close one. I can't believe they were gonna put you down. Such a nice, beautiful dog like you, I couldn't let that happen. Mom and Dad would never let me keep a dog as a pet. But that doesn't mean we can't be friends. Oh, you must be so hungry. I actually have some leftovers from lunch that you can have. But we should probably go someplace safer. Come on, I have just the place. Oh, this is gonna be double sad. Okay, Bucci. Today I want to show you my favorite place. See this tree? I call it the Lonely Tree. Why do I call it that? Well... It's all by itself. It's too tall to talk to the grass. It doesn't have a whole lot in common with the bushes. There just aren't any trees here that need someone to talk to. She, I love her imagination. Oh, don't worry. The tree isn't lonely when I'm here, and I come here a lot. It's my favorite place. When it's hot, this tree gives me shade, but I'm scared it lets me hide in its branches. We talk together and just hang out. It's nice, you know? Anyways, since I walk by here every day after school, do you want this place to be our meeting place? I'll save part of my lunch for you, and we can play games together. How does that sound? It's a deal, then. I gotta go home now. There's some food for you. I wasn't that hungry today, so there's a lot left. Hope you enjoy. See you tomorrow, Bucci. Uh -huh. This is already tugging on my heartstrings. Okay, Poochie. Now it's my turn to hide. Close your eyes. Are they closed for reals? Okay then, count to ten. They're never gonna find me. This is adorable. Doesn't smell like she's in here. Doesn't smell like she's in here. We know she likes trees. Mark! I found you! You found me! Now it's your turn to hide. Oh no. Tell us about your marbles, Sue. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, Sue. He's picking on me. Tell us how you think they're actual little planets. She thinks they're planets? Ah, uh, yeah. I don't want to take them out of the jar right now. Why? Was all the little aliens spill out? Ha <laughs> ha! She's such a weirdo. I don't like taking them out at school. No. You don't want to take them out because they're just plain old marbles. They're not just marbles. So she admits it. She thinks her marbles are planets. She's crazy. Ah! Leave me alone. Come on, Sue. Let's see her planets. Get away from me. Bark, bark. Yeah, get them. I love Sue. She's precious as fuck. I think she's just very imaginative. Get your scary street dog away from us. Get the fuck out of here. Good port. Good Poochie. Who's a good doggy? You get all the presents. Oh, Poochie. Thank you. People don't always like you when you're different. Maybe it's just how it is. Like how cats and dogs don't get along. What's that, Poochie? You used to hang out with cats and they wanted to start a dog and cat bakery? Holy shit. Wow, that's really cool. I do you have a place like that? Poochie, today I want to show you where I live. No, Poochie. Sorry, girl. It's just that you can't bark around here or we'll get in trouble. Thanks for understanding. Well, this is my home. I really wish I could show you my room, but Dad's home right now. He gets pretty angry if he's napping and someone wakes him. He came home late last, last night because he was playing his grown-up game. You know, the kind of game where you drink grown-up drinks and lose a lot of money? I don't like those games. But don't worry. 
I still have lots of cool things I can show you in the yard. Like, see over here? Earlier this year, some morning doves made a nest in the bushes. See how low to the ground it was? I came and checked on them every morning before school. And one day the babies flew away. Oh. Hmm, well, where did I put it? Here it is. See how much this rock looks like a duck? Dad been drinking? Yeah, right? I feel you. What the hell is this? Calm down, dear. I needed to wash your clothes. I... I told you not to move my things. Holy fuck. And she's got an abusive dad? Dad's awake. Come on, Peachy. We gotta go. Follow me. Quick, Poochie, in here. That was close. We can hide here until things calm down. Wanna look at my marble collection? I don't have the whole jar with me, but I have a few new ones in my pocket. When I have the hide, I like to choose one marble and make a new world. Will you make a new world with me, Poochie? Let's see. How about... This one. I found this marble at the base of the lonely tree. And it's the color of amber. It made me think the tree was giving me a present. I think this plant has a really big tree in it. The tree is so big that everyone lives there together. Inside the tree, there's a room where flower creatures serve you the most delicious tea ever. And the tea room is upside down so you can walk on the ceiling. Your tree won't even fall out of the cup. Of course you can sit at the table with me and share my food. You want to make up another world? Okay, what will yours be like? A cat and dog bakery planet? That's a great idea. I love her. Uh, right? Okay. She's moving. He left. Or her dad left. He just took all his things and now he's gone. He didn't even say goodbye. Uchi, do you think he was a bad person? Do you think he left because he didn't care? Was he afraid? Did he not love us anymore? Poochie, I made you something today. Collar? It's your very own collar. I used pink ribbon and a bell I got from school. That way everyone will know that you have someone who loves you and wants to take care of you. I always promise to be there for you, Poochie. I promise. Oh, oh I don't think this collar is going to be long enough. That's okay. I have more ribbon at home so I can fix it later. Okay, Poochie. I gotta go early today. Gotta help my mom with some stuff. I'll see you tomorrow. If Poochie gets hit by a car... <laughs> Buttspot, stop bullying me. <laughs> Buttspot is going off all of a sudden. Poochie. You're my best friend. I think we moved. Bark. Oh, she's sick. No, I got caught. Oh. No, we are moving. We can't go yet, Mom. I have to talk to my friend. I know moving is a scary thing, but trust me, Sue, you'll make new friends. I don't want to make new friends. This is my best friend. And she needs me. I can't leave her. I don't understand why we have to move anyway. Can I just go to the doctor here? We're going to Sendai to stay with your uncle and aunt because it's closer to the kind of medical care you need. 
Sue. I know it's difficult, but your father is not here anymore. Practically speaking, it's just too expensive for us to live here. Then can I bring my friend with me? For the last time, no. Now please, Sue, get in the car. We moved without saying goodbye to Poochie! I should have ended earlier because now I'm going to be sad and going to bed. Poochie, I'm so sorry. I hate this. Mom, where are we? I'm not sure, sweetie. It feels cold and really empty. I know, dear. It's probably best if we keep walking. She said probably. Is this... Oh my god. This is going to be the path Poochie walked, isn't it? She went and tried to find her. Mama? What are you doing here? I failed her. Oh! I don't know why I'm still here, boy. Is this Sue's dad? After all the bad things I've done, I don't deserve to still be walking these paths. Nah, this can't be Sue's dad. I had a life. I had a vice. Maybe I didn't know what I had at the time, and I ran away from my problems in the most cowardly way a man can. Holy shit, this might be Sue's dad. Oh my god, what a huge t twist. They needed me. Sue needed me. Fuck! Oh my god! What a huge twist! So now I spend my days wandering these worlds in hopes I can find something. Anything to make this pain go away. Did you take care of her while I was away? You took care of each other. She's strong, isn't she? Maybe you can change the past. You can still do... Maybe you can't change the past, but you can still do something for her, Uma. What's that? Let her know that you love her. And that you always did. I mixed his voice and Uma's voice into one voice and accident for a minute there. Even when it didn't seem that way. Thank you, boy. Well, I think the time has come for me to cross these worlds. It's been a real pleasure. Goodbye. My throat hurts. And not from Tiki. Like, I'm getting a lump in my throat. Oh, God, I'm not ready. This is the song. Oh, my God, I'm going to cry. Uh, trying to do voices right now is going to suck. Woo! I'm all teary. Pookie? Poochie! Oh, Poochie, I'm so sorry for leaving you. I remember now, you waited for me by the tree near our old home. I wanted to meet you there. I wanted to so badly. Thank you for understanding, girl. I'll never leave you again. I promise. Ugh, please don't have anything bad happen to Poochie. Ugh. Thank you. 
Oh, I learned part four. Goodbye, Sue. Wait, what happened with Uma then? Uh, Danielle is the seamstress voice. I don't remember her voice. Since you're still here, you should come join us for Star Night tonight. Thank you. Whoa, wrong voice. Since you're here, you should join us for Star Night tonight. Thank you. What's the Star Night again? Only the biggest celebration the whole year. It's basically the best, trust me. Okay. Let's see for Star Night. Back to the chief and we'll walk over with you. See you soon. Oh, God. Save. Okay. But that's where I'm going to call it for tonight. Oh my god, I was not ready for that end bit there. Uh, that put a giant lump in my throat. Your face is soggy. Alright, I'm, I'm glad it's not just me. Um, let's see. It's 10.30. I'm going to exit the game. Shut down. Oh my god. This game lasted longer than I thought it was going to. And uh, it's kicking my ass. Um, I don't know if I'm up for a raid tonight. Let's let's I don't know. Let's let's go see. I gotta mute myself. Oh my god, my throat hurts so bad right now. Come on, big hug. Kovu Jenkai. Oh boy. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the pupper pile. Thank you so much for the pupper pile. Or thank you so much for the follow. You popped in right as we're leaving. Leaving. Sorry. Uh, but we're gonna. Maybe we'll go see if we can have some lovely friends to raid. We raided raided Carl the other day. Uh, you know what? I don't think I'm gonna raid tonight because I need to go to. I need to eat food. So I'm. I, yeah, I'm definitely. Gonna, I'm just gonna end stream and I'm gonna go cook some food so I can go to bed. One last fellow for some raccoon. Hey, have you been here for a minute? Uh, yeah, the game has been uh, doing a number on me for uh, the last 20 minutes or so. But it's great. Um, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I've been here a minute lurking for a while. I appreciate the lurk. Thanks for popping in. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Uh, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Um, we're going to continue this tomorrow. I'm thinking we're going to finish it tomorrow because I think we have one more stone left. Um... And if we finish early, we'll play some Hades or something. And then next week, we're starting up some Bayonetta. So I hope you guys are looking forward to that. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I hope you guys have fun. If you guys did, remember to like, subscribe, comment. Helps me out a lot. Let's me know what you're liking, what you're not liking. Oh my god, my throat still hurts. Um, if you guys did like it, remember to like, subscribe, comment. Helps me out a lot. Let's me know what you're liking, what you're not liking. But more importantly, remember to spay new to your pets. Adopt, don't shop. Donate to a rescue if you can afford it. Or open up your house up to the possibility of fostering. That is a very rewarding experience and helps those animals that are very much in need. Anyway, I'm Vasif. This itchy one here is a Jada. Mama's is over there acting all feisty. She's ready for some dinners. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. And I'll catch you guys next time. See ya. Come on, let's go get some food and go to sleep.